Hello everyone, Zoom here again. Today we're going to be doing a simple do-it-yourself boost leak test. Uh, what I have here is a regular valve stem. Uh, something the size of your turbo inlet. A piece of PVC pipe. But if you can get the valve stem that is the higher quality not just the rubber stuff because it actually has a tread here that you can actually use um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to install this valve stem into the top of the uh, the PVC pipe so I completed the valve stem install uh, pretty much just get a drill bit the size of the valve stem drill it put it through so, so I took a little uh, thread tape and put it around here just to make sure that it's 100% sealed. So we're doing this on my private vehicle which is a 94 Skyline GTST uh, with an upgraded GT3076 R dual ball bearing turbo and Z32 mass. Uh, so what I'm going to do now what, which is important you have to make sure that the system any any lines that's going to the valve cover are removed so simply what I'm going to do is just disconnect this entire pipe and replace it with the pressure tester so yeah so we have installed the boost leak test we removed the all the lines going to the valve cover um, what's important is you also want to uh, have the throttle body remain closed as well so pretty much when we pump the compressed air in here it's going to charge the system uh, with, with with compressed air and expose any leaks. Uh, what I like to use is an uh, air tank instead of an actual compressor. Um, one, two reasons: the compressor can can you know pump large amounts of air. Of course, you can use a regulator to tie that down. But however, just the noise aspect, you can't really hear any any fine leaks. So um, I'm going to walk over and show you the air tank that I use. So. This is the air tank that I use, this is my old workhorse. Very, very silent. What I'm gonna do is just charge this up to about 50, 60 PSI and just start testing. So we have our external tank charged up to about 40 PSI. What I'm gonna do now is pretty much just open the valve a little bit and charge, charge the system up, put some pressure, positive pressure in the system. Now, I've done this test a month ago and uh, I pretty much eliminated most of the leaks but for example purposes, I'm just going to do it anyway. Um, I would recommend any turbo vehicle, maybe you can do one of these boost leaks tests at least once a year because uh, you know vacuum lines can start to corrode, uh, heat can start to deteriorate some of, these, uh, some of these lines, some of these couplings and just overall, you know, just good maintenance to do. So the method I'm going to use is just a old soap and water. Um, any escaping air will, you know, form bubbles. You get the gist. You may need two um, hands for this job. Just, you know, get a buddy just to hold the, the, the pressure source on, onto the nipple and you can start to spray. Some of the areas some of the areas for concern you want to spray around is the blow off valve gaskets, any of these hoses here. So I'm just going to wet this up. Make sure the soap is okay. And um, and if any air was escaping, it would start to leak around here and you would see it bubbling up. You can do the entire system if you want. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys. It's a quick way you can build a do-it-yourself boost leak tester and and you know get it going. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys found this video informative. Please feel free to share any feedback in the comments below, and feel free to subscribe for some more interesting videos coming up. Thank you and stay tuned.